every boyhood dream to step out on the Holland Turf Co Park. You're getting to do that next week. Uh, how does that sound? Yeah, it's it's a great feeling. Um, look, we, 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 you only know how it feels like when you experience it for, for the first time. Now, we, I played there underage in a few games, but it's, it, it won't match it when there's a bit of a crowd there. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it and hopefully it's a good crowd for us to meet up at. So. And how much is that going to give you drive here on this week to actually focus in on not so much the occasion but the actual game ahead uh, against Callow? Yeah, well, it will, it will be a bit daunting now. It's it's Crow Park, it's a massive stadium. We've never played in a stadium like that before. And uh, like like Turles, Turles last last year, um, once the first, first few balls, you kind of get used to it and you, you, you don't really see much around it. So we'll be hoping to do the same now. Uh, heading up to have a look at Crow Park in the coming days anyway, just have a look around. Just So it won't be as daunting, but always looking forward to it. So can't wait. And what would it mean for you? Uh, I think you may be, maybe potentially the, the the third captain ever to uh, lift the trophy in Crow Park. How will that mean for you and for the Western Hurlers? Yeah, well, it, it'd be massive. That's that's always the goal, silverware, and that's that's what that's what the measurements against what what you bring home. We've uh, won the league league title a couple of years ago, and uh, it was a great feeling. So hopefully, hopefully we do it again. And Paul, uh, Michael Ryan has done so much for Westmead Hurling over the last couple of years. How much would it mean for the players to actually go and win it for him also? Yeah, it would it, mean a lot. Like, uh, Michael Ryan's been around for the last four years, and he's done he's done good work. Like he's the same group of lads there for the last four years. At the end of the day, it's, it's, about, it's about the whole unit, it's about Michael, his backroom team, like he's a very good backroom team, the lads that help out, like everything they were set up, all the lads that train, like it, yeah, for the whole unit it'd be very good now, it's easy to get off in the club park and hopefully he can perform and win the game. Paul, well, you wouldn't have played in club park before, what experience can you lay on to the guys then for next Sunday? I don't experience either, I try and lay on to them as well, it's just, it's just another pitch, it's just another pitch at the end of the day, like you, know, you play your game, you go out and you perform, and once you perform, you can stand back maybe after the game and have a look at the surroundings. But, but for them 70 minutes, when you're going out to play, just forget about your surroundings and just treat it as another game. And it was a little bit of shadow boxing down in Carlow at the last league, uh, the last league format of game in the Joe McDonough. Uh, you played them a lot this year. What can you learn from maybe the league final? Is probably a good example of uh, it being really meaningful. Uh, what can you learn from that league final from yourself from your own preparation? Just for our own preparation, we didn't perform. That's the bottom line in the league final, we didn't perform. And the last day below in Carlo, we, we performed in patches, but not to our full potential. So our aim was to go out and try and get a 70, 75 minute performance, because you're going to need it to beat them. They're very strong, they're, they're, they're very good at what way they play and, and how they play. So we're just going to try and focus on ourselves and try and get a good performance for 75 minutes. And if we get that, hopefully it'll be enough to win the game. And possibly in the league final, you weren't possibly aware of the threat of James Doyle. Uh, for them, um, he scored three goals against you in the last game against down in Carlo. Uh, you're aware of that now, and you're aware of the kind of uh, threat that they have. So uh, everything will be leading into the kind of preparation of you know what's coming uh, for, from Carlo. Exactly. Yeah, but like, as I said, we're, we're, we're not focusing on Carlo at all. Like, uh, like I'm confident enough, and I think the lads are confident enough that if we can get our performance up to the standard that we uh, that we uh, demand off each other. We won't be worrying about Carlo. Like it's just about us, really, and it's about us trying to get the performance up. And if we get the performance up, we we be there or thereabouts. And Tommy, yeah, uh, Westmead Hurling has gone from strength to strength. Uh, even players, even supporters coming to the games uh, before the, the the footballers this year, they're all saying that how good of Hurling Westmead are playing. You won't fear uh, in in two weeks time or a week time after that, Joe McDonough Cup final going to play either Limerick or Westmead. That's it. It's it will. That's what the John McDonough brings. It's a great thing that you, whatever way the final goes, you know, obviously you want to win the final. But we have that game the following week. We love our big days out. We've played Limerick here twice over the last few years. We've played Wexford, the Galways, and they're all great occasions to be, be involved in. And like you just, that's what that's what you put the training in during the winter. If you're looking forward to days, the weather like this, and hurling in fast, fast, fast hurling and weather like this. So looking forward to it. Yeah. And lads, from everybody in Westmead, uh, GEA, just here and abroad. Uh, the very best of luck to you next Sunday and we uh, will be all behind you, win, lose or draw and uh, keep, keep a lift for the week. Cheers.